Yeah, I want a thousand dollars on the Cowboys. Hey everyone, Mark here on the Off Grid Homestead in the great state of Arizona. Well, one of the largest causes of accidents, mission failures, and what's going to determine your success as a prepper or an off grid homesteader is one thing situational awareness. Military, firefighter, police officers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's preached to you. It, it means life or death, success or failure. When you're out on patrol, whatever it is you're doing, if you don't have situational awareness, you're going to fail. And that applies for the homesteader and the prepper trying to be more prepared and ready for an SHTF event. So you might be wondering, do I have situational awareness? And if I do, is it good enough? And if it's not, can I improve on it? Yes, you can. So yeah, you can, uh, you can train yourself in situational awareness. You got to make a conscious, conscious effort to do so. But as a prepper, a homesteader, why would you even care? How's it going to benefit you? And what the heck is it anyway, situational awareness? Well, basically, it's just being alert in your environment and know what the normalcy is in your environment. So if you know what the normalcy is of what goes on around you daily, then you can tell when there's something different, you know, from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. The biggest distractor for us most of the time, when we don't know what the heck's going on, is this, our phone, text messaging, whatever it is, blah, 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 on the phone. Technology is our biggest Achilles heel. It, how time we don't know what's going on around us because of technology, even whether it be the TV or whatever it is, you know? So situational awareness, you wanna be able to identify the threat and identify what that threat might do in the future. You kind of predict the future, what it might be. So for example, I used to be a wildland firefighter and situational awareness was preached to us constantly. And we had to, we paid attention, like wherever the fire behavior was, how the fire was acting. And we paid attention on what it might do in the future and how it might threaten us as we, so we could plan and do our tactics. And that's what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't be paranoid about things. Just be prepared and pay attention. That's what you have to do. Now that can affect you, you know, as a prepper, maybe you're out wandering around out in the woods, you know, you're out with the family and you notice a little spring somewhere, okay? If you're situational aware, you notice, you might pay attention, okay, how might that spring change? Is that spring there because it's monsoon season or just a little waterfall? Or does that look like a natural spring coming out of the side of the mountain? Being situational aware, you could give yourself resources. You could find yourself resources. You know, uh, as a homesteader, paying atten attention to the smallest things with your livestock. If you just take your livestock and throw them out in the pen and feed them and that's it, you don't spend any time with them, you're really not going to notice if one of them is acting different, if it's minutely. So if they're getting sick or something like that, you may not notice it until it's too late. So you spend time, observe, know what the environment is, know what the situation is with your animals, with your surroundings. That's how you keep yourself safe and you keep your same family safe and you have success. So yeah, situational awareness is key, key to survival and it, it's key to life. You got to do it. So keep your essay up. Appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe to keep up. We'll catch you on the next one.